Under the direct influence of the Pakistani intelligence agency, the president of the Organization for Human Rights in the United States had written a letter to the newly elected Congress representative Colin Allard, requesting that the U.S. manufacturer SIG Sail must be stopped from selling SIG 716 rifles to India. She also demanded that the U.S. should instantly drop the plan to sign the second order worth $100 million for 73,000 rifles with India. This Pakistani attempt also shows that the SIG 716 rifles are performing well in counter operations. India is all set to sign two major long pending military aircraft deals next month, which includes 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters worth 37,000 crore rupees and 56 Airbus C 295 medium transport aircraft through a Tata Airbus joint venture worth 11,929 crore rupees. Both the projects will be approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security this month. And officials have said that Tejas contract will be signed during Aero India 2021, that will be followed by C-295 aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics will place a $600 million order for more than 100 F-404 engines, that will be used to power the upcoming 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters. General Electric will deliver the first batch of engines within 24 months of signing the contract, and the remaining batches might be manufactured in India under transfer of technology. The F-404 engines will also get minor refinements based on the feedback received from the Indian Air Force. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics have said, that a new facility spread across 35 acres is being made ready for production of structural assemblies of the Tejas Mark 1A, and this facility will be in full-fledged operation in the fiscal year 2021-2022, and HAL will be able to produce 16 fighter jets per year from 2023 onwards. He also said, that the first flight of the medium-weight fighter will happen in 2022, and will enter production in 2027. The Ministry of Defense has awarded a 758 crore rupees order to Bharat Earth Movers Limited for supplying 400 high-mobility vehicles, that will play a key role in logistics management of the Indian Army. The vehicles will be manufactured in Kerala and the public sector company will start delivery in the next one year. Thousands of employees and workers of all nine units of Bharat Earth Movers Limited are also protesting from the last two days, against the central government's move for the 26% strategic stake sale, out of the government's shareholding of 54%. The research and development arm of Tech Mohindra has partnered with the College of Military Engineering to develop innovative defense solutions by leveraging robotics and artificial intelligence, and this collaboration will further enable army officers to address critical defense problems and challenges. Currently Three Strike Corps focuses on the western border facing Pakistan, while only one Strike Corps focuses on China, and now the Indian Army will slightly restructure Two Strike Corps to focus on the northern and eastern theatres against China, and reports indicate that the restructuring is likely to be implemented by the end of this month. The Army has refused to release any more details, and implications of force structures cannot be shared due to security reasons. Oh, my God.